Hello, so today we're going to look at the subject term field in more detail with particular reference to searching for references to place names, which is an uncommon inquiry that we receive at Bedfordshire Archives. And this is the main entry point to our online catalogue. And if you ever need further details on using it, you can click the link here, which takes you to a PDF and shows you how to search um, each field in great detail. So if we enter the catalogue and click search, so I think most people's first instinct when using the advanced search option is to input their search query into the words from title content field and that isn't the most helpful field to use and if we use um, as an example, say you were looking for references relating to Chester Road, Bedford, and we'll just go ahead and put that in. And press search. And we can see that that's retrieved 55 results. And as we scroll down, we can see that some of them don't appear to actually match our original query. So we look, so we've got Houghton Lodge, Ant Hill, the Furs Lowest Skill, Ant Hill. And if we go back up and if we click the to view the catalogue entry in more detail for this one, and we can see that this appears to bear no relevance to our original query of Chester Road, Bedford. And the archive uh, database retrieved this result uh, because it contains the word Road, Bedford and Chester in its title. And that's because um, our, most archive databases can't perform semantic searches in the way that we're now used to from internet search providers. For instance, as humans, we see that string of words, Chester Road, Bedford, and that immediately has a meaning to us. However, for the archive database, it can't make that meaningful link. And so it will just search through the collections and retrieve any results which contain the words Road, Bedford and Chester within its title or content description. Now, instead of the words from con title content field, if you are ever searching for places or occupations, uh, instead of the words from title content, I would recommend that you actually use the subject term field. Now at Bedfordshire Archives, whenever we catalogue new material and we come across a place name or an occupation or any topic that we feel um, individuals may want to search under, we index it as a subject term. And this effectively acts as a tagging system. And for place names, we have a standard format, which um, we input as uh, the street name, then a comma, and then the parish or town that that street is located in. So in the case of Chester Road, we would input it as Chester Road, comma. And again, if you're ever unsure about what Bedfordshire archives have indexed, uh, you can always partially input a word or a phrase and click the binoculars here. And that comes up with a list of potential um, index terms that have been used by the archive. And you can click on the first term and then it will automatically be filled in and we can click search and we can see that's retrieved eight results um, and if we go into one we can see that that does actually match our original search query and then if we scroll down we can see that this uh, catalogue description has actually been uh, indexed under a variety of different terms and we can also then if we wanted to, we can click through. So for example, we'll click on this one. And it will conduct a, a fresh search looking at um, 
teaching as the keyword and then you can use the expert search function to refine that down. Uh, but if we go back to our search, you could, one way in which you could use the words from title content is to input um, a property number. However, I wouldn't always recommend that you do that because uh, property numbers weren't always um, recorded and house numbers and house names can change over time. And again, if, for example, if you were looking for references to uh, licensed premises, so pubs, uh, again, we format in a very similar uh, way, which is the name of the pub and then the parish or town in which it resides in. So for example, if we put red lion and then comma and again, so if we go for red lion amp hill, press search. Okay, and we can see, uh, we can click through for a more detailed description. And again, if we wanted to save these references for later, we can click here in this little checkbox. We skip that one. That one. And we can see here that they've been saved in this selection pane. And again, we can then send via email or print. So if we go back to our search, and again, another common inquiry that we get that is related to places and properties is uh, using the online catalogue to search for maps. And I would really recommend that you use the expert search fun function for this. So if we go under here. So the expert search function is great because it allows us to do combined searches. Now, um, as an example, let's say we were searching for uh, maps relating to Cardington. So we can see that our first um, field is already set up. So if we just input Cardington and to add another row, we can click the yellow plus symbol here. And we can then input our second subject term, which would be maps. And Again, if you, for example, wanted to, if you knew uh, a the reference of a particular collection that you wanted to search under, again, you could change the drop down menu and select reference. So, for example, um, the most of the enclosure maps come under the reference MA. Uh, but if we do a broad search, we can see. Okay, and this is brought up 64 results which matches Cardington and maps. Again, the subject term field, it's not just for places. Um, we, you can search for almost anything. So if we go back to our advanced search, what I would recommend is that you use our, the subject terms of the advanced search to see what sort of index terms Bevisure Archives have used. So example, as an example, if we just put med. Okay, and we can see the various ones that start with med. So we've got medal collecting, med craft and sun, and then the various uh, medical terms. What I would do is I would make a, ref a note of all the potential terms that you're interested in, and then go back to the expert search and then begin to set up um, various combined searches to refine um, those potential subject terms down. And finally, over 90% over of our online catalogue is available. Not everything is. Um, so it's always best to drop us an email at archive at bedford.gov.uk. And, and we can provide further advice. Um, our next video will focus on searching for images and we'll also be having a brief look at the library catalogue. Okay, so thank you.